Hello, everybody, and welcome to the back nine of round one of the Mid-South Collegiate Open. My name is Daniel Dravitt, and I'm here joined by... Dalton Hastings. The one and the only. Dalton, tell us about this tournament. So this is the back nine of round one of a rotating doubles round. Uh, in total, there are two rounds of rotating dubs and one round of singles. Um, today, we have a stacked field. We, we have do. five of the top 25 college teams, and after this event, seven of the top 25 college teams. Yeah, teams from just really all over. All like, over. I mean, a lot of schools out there, a lot of guys that absolutely bomb that are just tearing apart this Jonesboro Blue course. And, uh, I mean, let's get back to it. Yes, sir. Next up, we have our 10th hole, which is hole 14. It is a par five. It's the over the lake shot, if you're familiar with it. We're playing from the blue tees here. So for this tee shot, you're gonna wanna get it right out there, not too left to be under the tree, too right and you can't cross over. Cause you're trying to throw- perfect. Yeah, this is That's a great absolutely shot. absolutely perfect. You're trying to throw over yes. the um, lake on the next shot. And we're gonna put one down into the landing zone to lay up, but- Honestly, distance is not huge here. It's really mm -hmm. all about placement. Um, so you'll see them go li go for a little bit more than what you yeah. guys went for. Here's Major ripping on something. I'm pretty sure it's either a Wraith. Yeah. Um, Overturned. Yeah, which it looks like, oh, it's in a fine spot. But there's a wall of trees that are very tall that is really hard to beat. Yeah. Gray here. Smooth the one out there. Yeah, really, really getting a hold of this. And it's going to be. That's in a better spot, I yeah, feel. Yeah, it'll be left. Mm -hmm. So Matt's laying up here with a Berg. This is ideal so landing good. zone, honestly. He pure that is. shot. He nailed that layup. That was fantastic. You see you running up there. So and this it's is good. me trying to go across. And like I said in round uh, the front nine, everything was in a headwind, so this was just bad. It burnt. Yeah, it burned over, But that's okay. That yeah. Hitting that shot is a bonus in our game plan. 100%. Um, you know, we're, so we did miss their layup, but they laid up to about here. Yeah, a fantastic layup. You see me? He almost drilled me getting my disc over there. <laughs> yeah, you were in the kind of in the woods over, over on that right side. It's a tough look from over there. It is. And this approach is super difficult because that Very basket's difficult. like 30 feet behind that ridge. So you can't just yeah. hit the ridge and kind of kind of think you're going to be fine. It really is a 300 foot. 15 foot tunnel shot through that gap. Yeah. And that was very fortunate to get through. Yeah. I mean, there's that common Heiser play right there. No, that was, he was so lucky for that one. You see no one get lucky like that. Yeah. And then I just put it low. That's Not the it. more traditional play is just try to give yourself a putt. It is. But yeah, I think putting from it's, Missouri State there. <laughs> yeah. That was really cool. Unfortunately, really unfortunate roll. Every green here can have a roll away. That looks so good. Out of I know. Space. It looks wow. so good, but just a little low. Here's Matt tapping uh, out Trevor's shot. Hey, yeah, tower. and that's hey, a Trevor's four. Trevor's an eagle, yeah, which is a birdie, but with a little asterisk, it was, it's an easier four. It's a, easier it feels five. like a good four, yeah. So this is an iconic island hole. Mm -hmm. uh, hole 15, this is the same one the pros play. Um, plays as a forehand, really. It really does. It kind of plays farther than you think. Yeah, I mean, we were throwing it in practice, and, like, first shots were coming up short for sure. I mean, Matt has great forehand power, and he threw a Nuke OS, like, flat, and it didn't get there, which was very surprising. Yeah, and that did that did seeing that kind of tell you to really put oh, a little a little extra on 100%. it? A hundred percent. That's great insight there, because I was went Sex and Firebird, which is a little flippier, but I juiced it. Yeah, I definitely wanted to air going long because you cross inbounds. Uh, this shot was so sad to see just kind of keep going, you know, right when you needed that to go left. Exactly. But, That's a common theme on this course for some reason, just stuff getting overturned like yeah. this. Joe's shot here looks great, though. <sighs> it was perfect. And then it's great still. <laughs> it was a roller coaster of emotions. Without that branch, it would have been better. And yeah. we were honestly scared that they would roll out that little opening you see. By yeah, the right there. Where the fence is gone. Yeah. And they had two really good bids at this. They but you did. see the, the branch. The wind just picked up on that second one, too. It really did. Trevor with a great putt. So huge. Yeah. Not it's an a, easy this putt. This is a great get. Like, I know it's mm -hmm. a short hole, but it's definitely one you want to get. It is. 16. We got another par four here. Really a pretty basic par four. You want to go straight and then fade a little bit to the left or just keep going right and uh, kind of play around that middle tree you see there. Guarded green. How do you know about that right line? Because I, so I, I'm going for the left line. I'll say it. I'm not afraid to admit it. Turned all the way over. Accidentally, good shot for the right line. Actually, perfect shot. It was... So left definitely opens fun. your angle up to the green more. Mm -hmm. But right is, like, you got so much more distance than Trevor did there that it was just a better... It's, it ends up being, like, a lot closer because mm -hmm. you're actually able to then play downhill on the right side, whereas the left side, you're just playing up the hill. Exactly. And great shot from Gray there. And we are, here we have Major. Smoothing one out there. Yeah, just a safe hyzer right there. Yeah, those are pretty identical shots. I think they ended up within 30 feet of each other. They're throwing backhands in, which is... Makes it a lot harder. It, it does. It is definitely a forehand approach if you have it. 
we were really happy that you guys were able to go on the approach for this one and me and Trevor were on the drive. And really, to speak more broadly, we thought that the pairings worked out just immaculate for our team. Yeah, there was maybe one shot through 18 holes that we were like, ooh, kind of wish we were switched. Yeah, but like all of the holes that are just like you have to throw a forehand, you know, you guys were on. And th this approach here, Matt put it close, yeah. but you're trying to get a little closer here, going for the high line. Yeah, so Matt kind of went for the poke and pray line mm -hmm. through the through the trees, whereas I wanted to go around to make it take out some of that luck. Yeah. Um, thankfully, off. I was able to do it. Yeah. yeah. That's why, so right really sh shuts that angle off. Mm -hmm. So left is a little bit better, but it yeah. still works out from the right. And here you are. The great putt. <laughs> that is nice. I get so what happened after this? That's an awful putt. Oh, yeah. I stepped on a thorn. It went straight through my shoe. It was crazy. The thorns Anyways, here were brutal. Hole 17. This hole's really hard. Like, we're playing from a blue pad, which is shorter, but honestly, the angle's almost more tricky. You see Super Mac weird. with a forehand roller. Mm -hmm. Par four, very far. There really isn't a, a shot that screams to you no so we thought this was amazing so i was uh prompted to by you guys to just rip it and see if you can get through the tree yeah unfortunately matt's drive was just kind of under the tree and those branches are huge so it's hard to get anything out of there it is i got through the first tree clean hit the second tree but that still landed in a good spot yeah a better angle than matt's the branches were not in the way as much this looks good, just a slightly overturn. Yeah. Again, somehow another hole into a headwind. I know. If it didn't hit that branch, it was going to sneak, and Heiser and, you know, Missouri, was gonna be, Missouri State was going to be in a great spot. This was an aggressive play. This was a very aggressive play. <laughs> <laughs> so the OB stakes aren't actually OB on the right. The only OB is that uh, barbed wire fence along the left. Yeah, the, the caddy guides were a little bit confusing. There's just a couple layouts out here. Mm -hmm. Pars, tees, a little unclear, but definitely made it through the weekend. Yes. Well, this looks good. Just stay up a little bit. It's just so far from where they are. Yeah, it's a far approach from there. It's, it's deceiving. Again, this basket mm -hmm. is past a ridge. So if you land on top of the ridge, you're going to be like 35 short. Yeah, and I completely misjudged the distance here. I was throwing a pig when I should be, you know, really maybe throwing. And a we told fairway. Trevor to throw it hard, and he also comes up a little bit short. I thought he was like going to be pin high or long, and we just we didn't read this hole very well. No, this is definitely a hole you want more practice on. Good yeah. bid. Love Joel's putt again oh, for the yeah. win. Just so clean. And a great putt there by Joe. Yeah. So birdie putt here for us, but longer About than you want it to feet. be. Yeah. I thought I hit that. It just flipped up a little bit. Not the cleanest putt. Yeah. Right side and those those change in cats it. Oh Matt Lauer. Oh, it's so good. Man, seeing that putt on film. Wow. Just I mean, really just a, a headwind. Playing with that. I know. Crazy Hole stuff. Hole 18, par three, OB kind of creek right before. Um, the basket, this is one that the pros uh, don't play. They play from a gold tee. Trevor throwing it out here. He's throwing a crew, which is a 12-4-0-4. Definitely flies a little more flippy than that, and a great shot. Yeah, so that headwind was huge. We really had to convince him to go more stable on this we one. We did. So I went super stable. Wind just stopped. Yeah. It I think <laughs> the first thing, you turn around right there, and you say, where'd the wind go? Yeah. I, I probably wasn't a great shot either way, but I'll blame the wind. Uh, major, yeah, major here, again, flipping over. You can see the wind, and it just has no shot to fade. And actually, that's going towards the island hole. It is. Stay, stay dry. Stay dry. So he also it, overturns this. It looked so good he, just right until it got to the OB. He threw it on a lot of hyzer, and we get to see the drop zone, unfortunately, where he almost throws his berry. Yeah, in. you've got you know you've got a little bit of a hill, so you can give it a little bit of a run here. Definitely want to put one a little bit closer. Yeah. Um, here they are for that bogey save. That's unfortunate. That happens quick when both really go out of bounds. Yeah. yeah. In doubles, that's something you really want to try to avoid. Yeah. Again, two good metal hit putts. And Matt just so keeps the clutch. Putt hot. So clutch. Missouri State really was just like a few putts falling away from really putting together a great round. Yeah. So hole one, not the traditional course hole one. Just they're calling it a par four, but it's 20 feet off of the gold pad, which so, is so like, let me, I just want to play the gold. Let's man. play the gold. I know. Matt's, <laughs> so the OB line isn't, it's, you can kind of see a creek, but it's probably like five feet behind where his disc landed. Yeah. So Matt's in bounds, but a little bit barely. This one's a par four, according to the tournament. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're watching this shot. Uh, just park it. It's 15. It's not par. It's like parked, bro. This is definitely one that a two feels really good on. You're feels definitely amazing. gaining strokes on people. Yeah, absolutely. Again, this is a hole where the pairings work out perfectly. I know. I mean, because I mean, you're the guy on the like our team that has the power just to crank it down there. What five twenty? Oh my god! I, it's downhill. It's very downhill. Yeah, it's very yeah, generous. yeah. But take no. I mean, take the take the internet distance, man. You you rip. Again, this. But I think they ended up staying in bounds on one of them, but it was yeah. very close. So they'll they'll be able to take a three here. 
They lay this up. Again, the elevated basket makes this one a little tricky. Great it does. Pop by Trevor. Trevor cans it, though. That strokes on the field right there. That's yeah. a great one to get. That's huge. Whole, whole, course hole two. Yeah. Really just impossibly far. Um, this is a weird <laughs> one because the Pro Tour plays like a dumpy hyzer to the left. We play a different pin. Yes. But it's like way further. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's 350, super uphill, Rick. Every bit of what, four? Oh, maybe 450 up the hill. Like, yeah. Really I, just the T side says 275. So, you know, Matt and I were making fun of you guys for coming up 40 feet short every time. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, well, where did my distance go? Why can't I get a pig there? Yeah, so you see major here ripping on something. I think this is that same wraith just flipped over, but it actually fights out pretty well. Enough to kind of be right down at the bottom of that hill. And the tough part is just getting up that final slope there. You really gotta throw it on a perfect angle so that you don't fade too far left and just have the hill carry you down or overturn it and the hill just Catches exactly. You. As you're going up, you got to still be turning a little bit and then just dumping right. You know, that was a good bid by Joe there. That was and so Joel spinny, too. Yeah, it's such a good spin putt again. We're about like 50, 55? Yeah, C2 from my turn here. Uphill. Yeah, it plays far. Oh, goodness. I was so mad. I kicked the mini right after that. I have to be honest with you. That is just, I mean, he's out of control, guys. <laughs> uh, no, not not one uh, we're too, too mad about not getting. Yeah. Um, so this hole is three, this great is forehand hole. also the a great forehand hole, like mm -hmm. you said. This is a pro tour hole, and mm -hmm. just not an elevated basket. So I'm going emperor, and I threw that on so much hyzer, and it just flipped all the way over. I mean, just like every hole, there's a headwind on yeah. every hole, no matter yeah, this the This is angle. so touchy, because if you're too inside, you have no look, and if you don't, if you do flip it over too much, man, is it far. It, it is far. I mean, the play is to flip it over, though, because, you yeah. know, inside, there's just nothing. Yeah, you really have to trust the height, which yeah. I think none of us really did that well here. Yeah, Joel flipping over as well. Man. And the slope makes it really hard to fade, because as you're fading, you know, the it's higher up, so it's not going to get over as well. Yeah. This is the inside mistake we were it talking is. about. Joe kind of made the overcorrection there of trying to put it more inside. Man. I mean, the camera's doing it justice. This is a far putt. It is. It's so far that he went forehand. Yeah, <laughs> is it, isn't that something? That is crazy. So I think, was this Matt's drive or mine? This was your drive. Wow, what C2, a C2, high left, in is in. So this we was take our, it. I think, second or third. Second to the last hole, and that mm -hmm. was a great get. Yep, that was, we were feeling good about that one, especially after kind of taking a par on the previous one. Par four here. This is a hard hole. This is a hard par four. Actually, I believe this one's a par five. Oh, okay, um, awesome. But it, it is a hard par four. Soft super five, easy par very four. soft yeah. five. And that's where we were trying to go. That's about the most perfect drive we've seen. Could be further, as always, but other teams try and play to the right side of that tree. Which is very weird, because if you don't get... If you're behind that tree, it's it's a five all day. Yeah. Some teams also play where Trevor played and kind of have the more just, like, huge spike hyzer yeah. in. Um, we, like, we just like that middle spot right there. We do, because it's not too... It's, like, perfectly up the hill enough to where the point is you're not throwing straight up. Mm -hmm. Whereas to the left, you can see it really fades down, so you're throwing, like, a giant spike hyzer, which is yeah. not the ideal angle to attack this green. Yeah, and you'll you'll see a clip of the green here. This in looks just good. A sec. Yeah, this was a great shot. Yeah. Just right right before the tree. I mean, you're gonna see he's ripping on this, mm -hmm. and it's a hundred twenty short. Yeah, maybe it's, more. It's well short, but you gotta you know getting around this is super important still. Standstill's crazy there. I didn't. Yeah, that. I know. Wow. Kind of cuts and starts rolling, but this is a hole that you really want to practice. Flex forehand is a great way to attack this green. I know, and this is a beautiful shot. Just. Just a little, not enough flex. Not enough turn, but that tree did help a little bit. It so, did. So I'm going T-Bird 3, Heiser flip, trying to not flip it over. Two inches off the ground. Yeah, I did tell you this is going to be two inches off you the ground, did. and uh, I was honest. Just a little far, and this, this is my Berg right here. He, he said, took that out of your bag? He said, this is a Berg shot, and I said, you don't have a Berg, man. Here's a Berg. <laughs> there you <laughs> there go. You go. I'm, I'm calling it. So this is a run. This is a run. Very clean. I this think is this kind is of a great feedback run. from Prodigy. Uh, he was talking about this disc all day. So Yeah. Final putt for me and Trevor oh, here. Good really, tr Trevor. really tricky bid. Good, you know. Good There's a by branch Trevor. right in your way that you jumped under. I really thought you were going to hit your head. I was a little worried, but so, we clean it up for a four. We clean it up. It was a great round with some of the softer pars in. I believe we finished at 17, which is kind of amazing. Yeah, it no, it was round. good. It was the hot round. I yes, think it by was three strokes. By three strokes, that is that is correct. Missouri finishing three down. Um, yeah, here, I mean, here wow, you are. There you you have go. Illinois at 17 down, Pitt State at 14, Kentucky at 13, and Texas A&M at 13. So, you know, well, well clear of the field, and yeah. it was a, it was a good feeling round. It was, it was definitely shredding. So we're gonna see you guys back here for the singles round, which we're gonna be having at the Towering Oaks course, which is extremely hard, but 
We have some thank yous to give out. Um, first off, thank you to our Illini production team. Thank you to our advisor, Nick, for filming and doing a lot of the editing and really everything that goes on here. Thank you so much for Toby for filming and editing. And thank you to Caleb Martin for also editing one of these rounds. Yeah, we have a couple more thank yous to give out to uh, Eli Webb for being the tournament director, Brenda Moose for being the assistant tournament director, and Mr. Moose for kind of just being a chiller all day. On the Absolutely course. being a chiller all day. And uh, we got we to gotta tell you to like the video. Subscribe. Subscribe it. Share Watch it. it twice if you can. Uh, leave a comment. Say something nice. Say something We'll mean. respond. Yeah, we'll, we'll respond. respond. I respond now. And uh, we'll see you back here for round two for the singles round at Towering Oaks.